Mr Ligudi was answering questions from Together Gibraltar leader Marlene Hassan Naon on what the curriculum year will look like as from September. He said the current plan was to reopen all schools in consultation with public health, but with some important changes. There will be staggered entry and exit times, special arrangements for lunch, thermal scanners and one-way circulation routes where possible. Mr. Likudi said it was impossible to know what a resurgence of the virus would look like, but added that it may not mean a full lockdown. It was also revealed that since the start of the COVID crisis, there have been six school children referred to counsellors, seven to mental health services, two to child protection services, and six to education psychologists. Next year, there will be a second mid-term for schools in February-March, which will coincide with Commonwealth Day. This was revealed following a question from GSD MP Edwin Reyes on the school calendar. Two religious festivals, which were considered school holidays but not public holidays, have been removed from the calendar and moved to this week, as have a number of in-service days. The second mid-term, therefore, comes with no loss of school days. There are currently 410 people living with dementia in Gibraltar. 152 of these are receiving domiciliary care. There are currently 30 people with dementia waiting for a bed in residential care. Ms. Hassan Naon had asked for the statistics as well as a study on the prevalence of dementia in the next 5 to 10 years in Gibraltar. Health Minister Paul Valvan said the clinical director for elderly residential services was conducting a study on an annual basis since 2018. He also said the National Dementia Committee had already been established and that the appointment of a dementia coordinator was being reviewed with an announcement to be made in due course.